we are going to see how the triple play experience in a customer premises. Here you can see uh, the fiber is connectivity is coming from the our exchange side. It is terminating in a small termination box, optical fiber termination box. From that termination box, the fiber is uh, a small patch code. Fiber patch code is connected to a optical network terminal that is ONT fiber modem. Uh, it is a small, uh, a single LAN port base ONT we are using here. From that base ONT, it is connected to a Wi Fi router. According to the BSNL FTTH plan, we are choosing this Wi Fi router for the customer. If a customer is up to a 50 Mbps plan he is subscribing, we are recommending for a N series Wi Fi router for be best experience. So, uh, but if he is going for a 100 Mbps uh, internet plan, the N series Wi Fi router is not enough to handle his total traffic. We are recommending for a AC series Wi Fi router. Normally, there are two types of Wi Fi routers N series Wi Fi routers and AC series Wi Fi routers. And a N series Wi Fi router, the link speed. Link speed is the uh, parameter, it is a negotiating uh, speed parameter with the Wi Fi router and the, our Wi Fi device like mobile. So, in N series Wi Fi router, this mobile or your laptop is connecting maximum at a speed of 144 Mbps. But uh, in actual scenario, a 144 Mbps N series Wi Fi router, it it will support 70 Mbps or 80 Mbps maximum throughput. So it is not recommended for 100 Mbps plan. 100 Mbps users must use uh, AC series Wi-Fi router. Their link speed is actually uh, 866 Mbps and we will get maximum throughput exactly 100 or 100 and above uh, speed we will get in a uh, AC series Wi-Fi router. The cost of uh, some N series Wi-Fi router around 750 to 1250 range that much only in uh, open market and AC series Wi-Fi router uh, cost worth around 2400 and above. In AC series Wi-Fi router itself so many varieties are available dual band gigabit Wi-Fi routers uh, and uh, normal single band uh, AC series Wi-Fi routers also available. Uh, no, uh, in dual band gigabit Wi-Fi router it is a good choice for higher speed plan customer and uh, gigabit Wi-Fi router it is actually good for if you are connecting more devices or you if you are in a office premises if you are connecting uh, some 10 to 15 or 50 computers through your LAN. For that experience uh, always a gigabit port LAN port Wi-Fi router. So AC series Wi-Fi router normally gigabit dual band Wi-Fi router. Now our FTTH is uh, connected through uh, our fiber modem and it is connected uh, towards a Wi-Fi router. So in our Wi-Fi router all the services all triple play services are ready. So uh, in that uh, in, uh, in triple play scenario um, there are majorly three services uh, normally first uh, uh, service is internet in that internet you can see in bsnl is having um, from plans from 10 mbps to 100 10 50 100 and 150 like that higher plans also available second service is actually telephony service bsnl ftth from the day one onwards we are giving telephone facility but customers is thinking that it's a conventional telephone but it is not a conventional telephone it is a next generation network ngn technology based telephone system only it is getting through a ftth connection because it is basically a ip based telephone system so this telephone is very much versatile that means we can make this telephony service as uh, in a conventional uh, normal uh, analog phones or a new generation IP phone or we can make the same telephone uh, service through your mobile using a mobile app like analog phone or an IP phone new generation IP phone or through a mobile mobile app even you, in your laptop also this telephony service can um, made through so we will uh, see uh, there are, uh, there is one IP phone is there this IP phone is uh, actually costing around 2750 and plus that much ranges only uh, we are recommending to use 
IP phone for those who need big dial button landline telephone especially old age people so instead of going old analog phone connectivity uh, for that actually required some analog telephone adapter and other things that also costing around the 2700 2800 that much range but same cost we can go for a ip based telephone service ip based telephone system so this ip 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 phone we we, we are going to connect uh, to the router through a lan cable because it is purely ip based connectivity so one and every ip phone is having one lan port that lan port is connected to your um, your wifi router and that telephone get registered through this Wi-Fi router towards our NGN network. And uh, what is the speciality of IP phone or IP based telephone system is first speciality it's uh, sound quality because it is purely a digital data and uh, traffic end to end it is we can call it as a HD voice quality so we are recommending IP phone for uh, normal LAN phone like usage like a big dial button third way we can use uh, our same FTTH landline number through a mobile app so that means uh, through your mobile your uh, smart smartphone like Android or Apple platform whatever maybe uh, some SIP client softwares are available that is SIP client or VOIP voice or internet protocol softwares are available so if you are uh, installing that software in your mobile through your uh, Apple Play Store uh, Google Play Store or uh, Apple I Store for example GS Wave is one of them it, uh, so in this uh, software you can see it is like a normal mobile dialer in this dialer you can access your contacts and uh, you, you will get or your call list or your uh, um, you can dial directly from this dial pad so but this particular app is basically working through your mobile Wi-Fi connected to the the same Wi-Fi Wi-Fi router so once our mobile Wi-Fi is connected when we are switch on, uh, when we are opening this app this number use the, this number is having one username and password so through this username and password automatically it is getting registered to our NGN uh, telephonic switch so this number will get live and from that after that you can see the, here one green dot will come so you can make uh, calls or you can receive calls exactly like a mobile uh, number experience but actually this number is a land phone number so we are uh, making an opportunity for the customer uh, to use your landline in your mobile without using a sim or any other conventional uh, wireless technology just we are connecting your mobile in your Wi-Fi home Wi-Fi that is enough and uh, our voice service is purely unlimited calls so you can enjoy any number of calls throughout any uh, throughout uh, India uh, BSNL is offering uh, unlimited truly unlimited calling feature also nowadays all the operators are restricting unlimited call usage because of their problems but uh, BSNL is offering 100% unlimited usage even from our least plan 599 onwards so through this uh, mobile based calling facility for FTTH land phone is making more advantage for the customer so that facility is also uh, we implemented uh, with a specific configuration in the ONT customer ONT and OLT side uh, that is a multi VLAN routing uh, there is one another uh, application is there even while our your mobile number is not having any range you are in same mobile you will get call from your landline some coverage issue may be there in some area you do one thing just make call diversion to this number just conditional call diversion when out of reach condition you set this FTTH number as your call diverted number automatically your mobile call will come to your same FTTH number connected through your Wi-Fi now we will come to the third service of triple play that is the most important and most interesting service we are introducing uh, very newly it is our cable tv service cable tv it's not a normal cable tv service it is actually ip tv service it's a new generation tv service mm. ip tv um, uh, user side it is actually a cable tv service only but the technology we are using 
to deliver this cable TV service is in internet protocol platform. Internet protocol means it's not through internet. It is actually internet based. How internet is working like that. Similarly, same technology is using for delivering that cable TV channels in this uh, your TV's side. So for that, what we require, um, if you are having a smart TV, you can directly connect this uh, smart TV uh, through your Wi-Fi or LAN towards your Wi-Fi router. In uh, OTT services already there, it's like YouTube, Amazon Prime, uh, or Hotstar in your TV. Just how it is just simply connecting your TV to your internet connected Wi-Fi router, like that. But actual live TV channels, live TV channels, it's not like uh, TV channel streaming through your YouTube. It's a real cable TV like service or DTH like all uh, normal live TV channels. You can see through our this particular IPTV platform. IPTV service actually um, it's like our normal cable TV service only but uh, in um, experience side IPTV is uh, very superior um, picture quality and audio quality is there. Minimum requirement for an IPTV it is a it need a Android or Apple uh, TV platform based television. A smart TV is uh, normally having Android uh, OS and uh, in that OS we can install their IPTV vendor application. In this case you can see one C home uh, TV one application is there. Uh, but this particular TV is not a smart TV. A non smart TV user even a no, old CRT TV also no problem. Uh, we can make smart smart facility using a smart box it's an android box uh, you can see this is an android box through this android box we can connect your non smart tv so this tv will act as a monitor for your android box and normally this android box having remotes and this is uh, this android os is remote friendly os uh, in this uh, Android platform, there is uh, we are we already there one C Home TV one uh, application is there. So it's a Cine Soft vendor. We can open this application. It will start opening. Initially, it will uh, start authenticating with their server. This actually authentication and this uh, streaming everything actually coming uh, through our Wi-Fi. Actually it is coming from their IPTV head end and this app is started playing the requested channel so in this IPTV similar uh, try regulated tariff uh, your existing cable TV or DTH like same tariff packages are same available in IPTV also here uh, so free to air package it's uh, starting from 100 rupees so that is the base plan in normally DTH and uh, cable TV they are limiting 100 channels for free to air channel package but here there is no limit of 100 channel whatever the available free channels that is national or international channels even in HD or a, a standard definition it is available in the same base plan itself because here there is no network carrying charge because here this is bi-directional uh, method of communication so whenever the customer is requested that time only that channel getting started streaming uh, but in uh, conventional uh, cable TV or um, it's DTH they actually it's a unidirectional transmission so always they need to send the channels uh, uh, to the customer end so they are actually limiting their channel so that is why they in uh, regularly regular packages in cable tv they are limiting for 100 channel but in iptv package there is no limitation maximum free channels they are providing iptv interface it is similar uh, like our old DTH or um, cable TV set top box similar interface is there and another one more interface also there in this is, uh, conventional interface you can choose uh, your required channel uh, using this channel list menu and not only this type of uh, interface some uh, channel icon wise interface also available you can see this uh, channel icons because this is just buffering it is actually preloading all the channel icons from their server once uh, this all uh, here you can see all available channels are uh, channel list is there through this uh, advanced menu also 
you can select channels and you can start viewing for a smart tv uh, customer there is no need of any other investment for uh, activating your IPTV service because just install as uh, this Android uh, IPTV application in your smart TV that is enough for non smart TV user or regular CRT TV user he need to buy this type of Android box uh, in open market also available in through online or Amazon everywhere it is available it is uh, costing around 2000 rupees uh, that device you can connect to your uh, existing conventional TV or uh, regular LCD TV through HDMI uh, port or uh, conventional AV AV port audio video port also you can connect this type of device now uh, one another speciality of K, uh, this IPTV service is any IP enabled smartphones uh, I, this uh, Wi-Fi connected smartphone also can use same TV service through this type of mobile TV app uh, the IPTV service we can activate in your mobile also through mobile app specific mobile app released by this IPTV vendor so in this for this actually we need to act, subscribe one more uh, plan uh, package uh, for this mobile so IPTV uh, service each device required e one uh, one by one uh, subscription so if we are activating one more subscription for your mobile you can uh, see all your favorite TV channels from your mobile uh, with full clarity uh, and it is very easy to use and it is available in both Android and Apple platform in same house itself we can activate multiple packages in multiple devices now you can see um, IPTV is working there and that is in HD full HD channel is playing there but same time um, I am trying to do this uh, speed test here now you can see the speed test going is very fine uh, and it is uh, getting I am getting very good speed around 100 plus mbps speed here At the same time my TV also working very nicely that means TV and internet both are working simultaneously but uh, even uh, even while I am using and consuming whole bandwidth in my laptop then also my TV is not getting any freezing problem or uh, buffering problem so uh, that means the internet bandwidth and TV bandwidth is separately it is going through my FTTH connection so that is the speciality of multi VLAN technology we are adopting in this uh, uh, in this method uh, customer can enjoy whatever he paying for his internet that plan he can 100% uh, he can consume for exclusively for internet purpose and meanwhile IPTV that perfect bandwidth is getting for IPTV service and IPTV uh, you can enjoy with full clarity and other our competitors are not doing this type of uh, multi VLAN technology because of that reason when they are using um, IPTV that time their data usage is consuming but we are giving a real triple play service that is all three service uh, different VLANs that is different bandwidth uh, exclusive bandwidth for perfect performance